Uh, the basic equation for sine and cosine, the general equation is this one here, A, which is the amplitude, B, which is related to the period through this formula, 2 pi divided by B, okay, period is P, H and K, H is the horizontal shift, K is the vertical shift, okay. And that's pretty much it. Let's take a look at uh, this example here so you can kind of understand this a little bit better. First thing I like to do is draw a graph. So pi over 4 comma 5, okay, that's going to be the maximum. So I'm just going to put that right here. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, okay. So it's pi over 4, and I'm just going to label that pi over 4 comma 5. And then the minimum over here is at pi over 2, okay, which is right here, pi over 2. And that's at negative 1, so that's going to be right basically there. So pi over 2 comma negative 1. And our graph's going to look something like this. It's going to go down like that and back like that. Okay, so you understand? So it has that S-shaped you know, graph, that sine, cosine, sinusoidal look, right? That snake type, type look, okay? So the next thing we want to do now is we want to decide, okay, we're going to do a sine graph or a cosine graph. Well, for these ones, I think sometimes it's easier just to do a cosine graph because you're given the maximum. And normally when we graph cosine, it starts at the maximum. Okay, it goes down and comes back up, and that's one period. So let's go ahead and start with the cosine graph. I'll show you how to find the sine graph as well, and we'll uh, take a look at that. So the first thing is to find the, the amplitude. Now, to find the amplitude, we're trying to find the height of these waves, right? But you want to measure from the midline. So the way to do that is you take the maximum value minus the minimum value divided by 2, and then you take the absolute value. So we're going to take 5 minus negative 1. Okay, so amplitude equals 5 minus negative 1 divided by 2. Take the absolute value. So that's 6 divided by 2, which is 3. And so, so far we've got, uh, let's see, we've got y equals 3 cosine. Okay, now we want to find the period. One thing I want you to, uh, to notice is that when they give us the maximum and the minimum, see that horizontal distance from pi over 4 to pi over 2? If we subtract, that gives us pi over 4. But that's only half the period. The other half here I drew in. And uh, so what you want to do is you want to take that and double it. So pi over 4 doubled gives us pi over 2. So that means our B value is pi over 2, okay, which means, uh, I'm sorry, our period is pi over 2. So to solve for our B value, we've got pi over 2 equals 2 pi over b. And if we cross multiply, you get 4 pi equals pi b. And if you divide by pi, you can see that uh, b equals 4. So we have 4. And then we want to take into account the, you know, the phase shift, so the left and right shift. Normally, this point would be uh, starting over here, okay, right at the y-axis. So you can see it's being shifted right pi over 4. So this is going to be x minus pi over 4. And if you want to find the vertical shift, okay, up or down, you can use this formula for k, max plus the min divided by 2. So I'm going to take the y values, 5 plus negative 1. Okay, so 5 plus negative 1 divided by 2. So that comes out to 2. So that's our k value. Okay, so that means that this is going to be plus 2. And I'm just going to draw this midline in here, 